What's up guys, it's Adrian and in today's video, I'm going to show you the exact blueprint you need to start running successful ads to your music. And I'm talking ads on Meta, so that's both Facebook and Instagram. Now I've been running Meta ads for many, many artists, brands, and companies, helping them achieve results. So if you wanna know how to structure your ads to get you the best results, and drive tons and tons of traffic to your music that actually convert, then you need to pay attention because I'm gonna walk you through the exact blueprint on how to do that. Let's actually get started. Um, don't wanna waste you guys' time, so let's jump right in. So the first thing is, do you have creative? Meaning, do you have content we can use in your ad? If you do not have content, then I'm gonna jump over to the market research. Um, but if you do have content, I'll come back to market research later, but if you do have content, then we go to the part where we're collecting all the content that we want to use in our ads. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a CBO campaign. So that's a campaign budget optimizer. So that basically just means we're controlling the budget on the campaign level. So now once you have a CBO created, we're going to use sales. With sales, the algorithm goes and finds people with intention or actually likely to convert. Now, once you have your sales CBO campaign created, then you want to go and create yourself an ad set. And now in this ad set, you can structure a few different ways. You can do it as a broad ad set, meaning no targeting at all and let the algorithm discover and find who your audience is. Or you can guide the algorithm a bit and use multiple interests. So this is interest stacking. You're stacking a bunch of different uh, genres or a bunch of different similar artists or all of them. Now, the last thing is Advantage Plus. This just means that it's very similar to Bra. And basically what it's doing is you put zero, you don't touch anything. Once you create the asset, you pretty much just leave it as it is. And um, then the next thing you wanna do is create a flexible ad. So I have a video talking about flexible ads and how to create flexible ads. So if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's gonna be right here. So inside the flexible ad, we are going to have three creatives, two headlines, and two copies. And this is for the first initial test. And by the way, you don't have to do all three of these ad sets at once. I would say start with either just broad or just multiple interest or just broad and multiple interest. But if you have the budget, sure, do all three. But I would start with broad or multiple interest. So inside a flexible ad, again, you're gonna have three creatives, two headlines, and two copies. Now, once you do that and you're running the ad, then the algorithm is going to spit out the best results. Now, inside of the flexible ad video, I actually show you guys how to get the best performing ad. Now, once you find the best performing ad, basically you need to figure out why it was the best performing. So there's a couple of things to look at. One, you can look at the copy, you can look at the creative, the call to action, and the headline. Now, once you know that, and once you can understand why it's performing the way it's performing, then what you need to do is you need to try to beat this ad. So let's talk about the creative for a little. So inside of the creative, you have music clips, you have visual hooks, you have scenes, the scenarios, the props, the demographic. You have to analyze your video to see why it's performing the way it's performing. And again, look at the props, look at the demographics, like what kind of audience uh, is in the video, and also look at visual hooks and the clips, the, the snippet of, or the section of the song that you're using. And once you understand why that creative performed the best, then you need to try to beat it. So you should always be trying to create new ads that outperform the last ad. So now what you do is you create different variations of the same ad. Let the algorithm keep pushing that creative that is performing the best, but 
simultaneously, you need to create a new broad ad set with two different creatives. Again, we're trying to test and beat the best performing ad. So once you create the other variations, now you want to test only a single variable at once. So in this example, I'm testing just the creative to see which creative will outperform the winning creative. However, you can also keep the same creative and then just test different headlines or test different buttons or test different copy or test different sections of your song. So different uh, clips of your song. And pretty much you just repeat this process and keep testing and keep iterating until you find an ad that just blows everything out the water. Now, before I continue with this, let's talk about the actual ad. So the way that Facebook algorithm actually works is it looks at everything. So you give it a piece of content. It looks at everything, every single frame, it looks at it and analyzes it and analyzes the emotion of the people in the frame and analyzes the scene that you're in, it analyzes literally everything. And that's how it determines who to show your content to. That's why broad targeting works. So a couple of things that the algorithm will look at, it will analyze the audio to see what is being said inside of the audio and transcribe the audio. If it's a music song, it will categorize it as hip hop or techno or uh, pop or R&B and then show the ad to that kind of people. It will take all the text that's on the visual and break it down and try to send traffic to the people that it's relevant to. It'll also take the copy, the words that you're saying in the copy, it'll take the headline. What are you saying in the headline? And then it also looks at the engagement. What are people saying? Who are the people saying this? What are the profiles of the people who are saying, or what are the interests of the people who are commenting and liking the post? And then it also looks at your audience. So your profile audience, who are the people who like and follow your profile currently? So it takes all of this into consideration and then it tries to find the right audience. So it'll send your content out to different pools and based on the results of each group, it then breaks those groups down into other groups and then keeps on doing this until it finds the exact audience. And then once it finds that exact audience of yours that is converting, it will try to keep showing your content to those people. And then it just repeats this process until it finds you the exact audience in regards to conversion. So that's why broad targeting works so well. The, the meta algorithm is so smart that it's able to identify the right audience based on the creative and copy and headline that you give it. So now you understand the importance of creative testing. So now you're testing different, different variations, trying to beat the or outperform the old one. So at some point, your ad will probably start fatiguing. Now, once it fatigues, you need to go back to the drawing board. Do you have content? Do you have more content? If you don't, then you have to go to market research. Now, there's a couple ways to do market research. You can, you can use your own data or you can use data that you find out online. So your own data would be categorized as um, like customer reviews, ad manager, your comments, uh, Google analytics, your subscribers, email lists, like knowing your exact audience. And then data online is you can find competitors. You can go to your SoundCloud analytics. You can go to uh, YouTube and TikTok, re review comments. You can go to Facebook groups and see what people are talking about. Once you do your market research and then you find your ideal persona, then you need to find references. Now these references are basically content references. Like what kind of content is performing well online in your genre that your ideal audience is looking at. Now, once you have this information, then what I do is I put it all into a spreadsheet and then I create content very similar to it or uh, my clients will create content very similar to the type of content that we found that performs well 
by other creators. So then from there, once you recreate that, you now have an ad. And then this brings you right back to collecting all your ad and then retesting um, your content. So I hope this made sense. And this is how I've been able to grow all of my clients, helping them reach thousands and thousands of monthly listeners and streams and also converting like this even works for e-commerce. So if you're an e-commerce brand, this same model, the same structure is relevant to you. So um, this is how I've been able to get so much results for a lot of my clients. And if you need someone to do this for you, then yo, there's going to be a link under this video. Click that link and schedule a call with me or you can join my school. Now, inside of my school group, I do weekly meetings with everyone, just going over uh, ads and going over any sort of marketing strategy that uh, you guys are asking me for. So there's gonna be two links on this video, one for my school group and also one to book a call directly with me so I can review your ads. I hope you guys found value from this video. If you did, there's gonna be two other videos just like this one that pop up right there. I'll see you guys over in those videos.